Well, seven Seattle City Council seats will be on the ballot this summer and 45 people have filed for candidacy, all hoping to make it to the general election in November. And with multiple current council members not seeking reelection, change is coming. Of the nine seats on Seattle City Council, seven are up for election this year. And of those seven, only three current council members are seeking re-election. We're seeing four open seats, which is still the largest number of open seats we've had since 2015 when the council reorganized. Patrick Schatmer is a political science professor at Seattle University who studies municipal politics, elections, and specifically Seattle politics. He says this turnover will be significant due to the departure of several key players. Where we're seeing a lot of uh, long-term incumbents, particularly uh, District 3's very own uh, Shoma Sawant stepping down from the council, which means that we could really see the council take a different tack or a different direction. Council members Shama Sawant, Alex Peterson, Deborah Juarez, and Lisa Herbold are all not seeking re-election. Due to the agendas and working relationships each council member has, Shatmer says this election will change the city's political landscape. If you're changing, you know, uh, just under half of the council and the personalities on that council, that's going to lead to a different city politic. He says there is one specific topic he thinks will be front and center this campaign season. Homelessness is going to unavoidably be an issue. And, and when we're talking about homelessness, we're also talking about two closely related issues, which is security on one hand and housing on the other. Um, those tend to be important issues in, in many municipal elections, but I think those are going to be the dominant issues here in Seattle. No matter the issue that means most to you, he says district elections are important as you choose who represents you and your neighbors. Seattle is in a lot of ways a city of neighborhoods, and this is an opportunity for neighborhoods to have their distinctive voices heard. And there is the chance that another council seat opens up in the fall. Citywide council member Teresa Mosqueda is not up for re-election this year, but she is running for King County Council. So if she wins that race in November, then her seat will have to be filled as well. In Seattle, Connor Board, King 5 News.